This case was discovered in the emergency room at Jamaica Hospital in Queens, New York, when the patient presented with low blood pressure, feeling very, very weak, shortness of breath, had enlarged breasts, and was found to have uh, needed investigations, rather, of his low blood pressure. And one thing led to another, we discovered that he was adrenally insufficient based on a cortisone stimulation test. And uh, at that point, we started looking at what else was wrong with his adrenal gland, and the, uh, this led to the conclusion that it was not the adrenal gland, it was rather the pituitary gland in the brain, and he had the deficiency, therefore, of pituitary, thyroid, and gonadal hormones. Uh, at that point, we tried to find out if there was any special cause for the pituitary. We found no other, except the only item in his history, when we took a good social history, was that he smoked marijuana heavily for over 15 years. We came to the conclusion that had a direct bearing on his problem, and we ended up having to give him replacement hormone, uh, both uh, adrenal hormone, thyroid hormone, and testicular hormone. He improved dramatically with these treatments. This, this led us to, uh, to put this case together because we thought that the problem in the United States is grossly underrepresented, underrepresented and not discovered. Uh, very often physicians don't ask about uh, people's marijuana use. And uh, besides that, uh, a pituitary problem in general is not a usual thing in a young person. Uh, we trained our residents to look for this anytime there's a situation with low blood pressure, no other obvious reason. In any physical examination, a doctor should take a good social history, just as if they're asking how people smoke or if they drink, and they have to ask, do they use drugs? And you have to ask it in a certain way. Some people might say, no, I don't use marijuana, but I, if you ask them, do you use weed? They'll say yes. You have to know it in the vernacular of the people you're dealing with and make the people feel comfortable because they're, they've been asked these questions before. They don't, know, uh, they don't want to answer it necessarily without being scolded for the answer they're going to give. And to get a, a good answer, you've got to ask a good question. That's the main thing. And once you have that you know, as part of your history and you see a, a, pro a problem, unexplained low blood pressure, unexplained adrenal issue, you've got to look a little further. If you've got an adrenal issue, you've got to ask, is it coming from the adrenal gland or is it coming from the brain? That's how this case proceeded and that's how we found it. I think the political climate is such that uh, marijuana is being uh, going to be politically acceptable, legally acceptable in many more states. I think usage will go up. I think uh, awareness has to follow that. If not, we're going to have more cases of, of harmful effects on the various glands besides the obvious problems with marijuana, such as cognitive issues and so on. Uh, but I think it's an awareness issue. Uh, the use will go up. Will the awareness follow it? That, that's the critical problem.